has changed. Let go. Oh. What in the flying F? Hello, YouTube and Bladers, welcome, blessings and well wishes from the shrine to you. I am the world's first Beyblade, Beyblade X VTuber, Beyblade X. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. So you know, I have been waiting for a certain package to come, and it's finally here. Oh my God, I'm so freaking happy. Uh, we have this, and we also have this, and then finally we also have this. Like, oh my god, it's finally here. And today, we will be doing the unboxing for this Hell's Chain. Alright, so Beyblade X BX21 Hell's Chain deck set. Let's do the unboxing. Let's go. Alright, and so just a quick reminder to everyone watching this don't forget to scan your QR code. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Okay, so I've gotten them out of their packaging. Let's put them all together, starting with the house chain. Oh man, look at how beautiful the house chain is. All right, let's put them up together. Okay, so before we talk about the Hell's Chain, right? Dear Takara Tomi, all right, just how many freaking Wizard Arrow recolors do you want us to have? And in fact, right, this Wizard Arrow combination is almost similar to the one that we got in BX08. Right, in BX08, the Wizard Arrow combination this right <laughs> wizard arrow <laughs> this is a 460 this is 480 both of them using the needle like come on takarotomi come on man How we don't need so many wizard arrows all right so we have all three base here now so let's talk about the hell's chain all right so hell's chain it features all right so it features the down there's like so it has like 10 bladed design kind of technically right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's a 10 bladed design right so what this template does right is that five of them is on this low all right low attack all right it's supposed to fend off low like low attacks and then the, the other five is like this upward attack kind of thing all right so they have these upward ridges. So against opponents that are higher. Alright, so against opponents that are higher, you're using the upwards blade to execute upper attack. Against opponents that are lower, right, you're using your lower blades to fan off the attacks. Alright, so I do have high hopes of this. Like it, it really looks it really looks very, very pretty. And I, like, and I like that color as well <laughs> okay so um just to quickly compare the tapered sorry so this is hell um hell's chain with the 560 tapered uh, sorry 560 high tapered all right so this is the high tapered so high tapered and the normal tapered what's the difference all right so putting them up side by side so it's about 1 mm difference in height Right, so as you can kind of see, right, so it's uh, just a little bit taller. All right, it's a little bit taller. Okay, right, so this one mm difference in height. How will it perform in the stadium? We will only know <laughs> if we actually use them in the stadium. And so before we actually test them out in the stadium. What do I want to do? Of course, we are going to bring out our old friend. The LED lights. <laughs> We're going to see how colorful like, it's going to make all this, man. And in fact, I do feel, right, 
all the babe, all the Beyblades in this BX21, right? All of them are gonna light up very nicely because the inside, like, is mostly like translucent, kind of transparent type, especially like this yellow low flat night shield. All right, so first one, let's try. This is five. This is 560. Alright, so I won't have to change it to a 580. Okay, for now, I will not change the ratchet. I'm just going to put the light in and then just put it up against the blade just to see how well it lights up. Hmm, not too obvious, but let's turn off the light and see. Oh, <laughs> this is quite disappointing. <laughs> This is actually quite disappointing, I have to say. Like, damn. <laughs> Alright, so next one. Okay, so how will the wizard arrow look like with the light? Hmm. Wow, look at this nice glow and then compare it to Hell's Chain. Oh man, I'm actually disappointed Hell's Chain didn't look as good. Alright, and finally, let's have a look at the Night Shoot. Uh, with this Night Lens. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful glow. Why Hell's Chain? Why? Oh, I just realized why. Okay, I just realized this, but because of this, the gear chip is black color, so it doesn't transmit the light well. Oh man, this was kind of kind of disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to like the a very nice glow from Hell's Chain, but it's okay. All right, so let's put it up in the stadium against the original. BX08 and see how this performs Okay, so let's test them up against the original BX08 counterparts. We have the Hell Scythe, Wizard Arrow and also Night Shield So in essence, it's really kind of like an upgraded match, isn't it? Right, we have the Hell's Chain against the Hell Scythe And then we have the Night Shield, Night Lens up against the wizard arrow and then the wizard arrow up against the night shield so this will be an interesting matchup let's see how to perform all right so first up hell's chain up against hell's side hell's change 560 high tapered against hell's size 384 Two, one, go shoot. Okay, okay, looks like hell side. But still kind of doing pretty well. Alright, so next up we have the Night Lens against Night Lens against Wizard Arrow. Alright, so the low flat Night Lens against the high the against the middle Wizard Arrow. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Shoot! Man, that was that was an almost extreme finish. Wow, <laughs> that was, wow, I definitely do not expect that from a night lens of low flat that could actually put up a pretty decent fight, like in fact that like, it almost did like an extreme finish of the wizard arrow. Okay, I have to see this again, this is, yeah, I have to see this again. Alright, so 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Damn! 
almost ice cream finish right now. And a big one. Oh, it's and a burst. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> this is a very unexpected from the Nightlands. Okay, and next up we have the Night Shield on Tapered versus Wizard Arrow on Middle. Let's see how this goes. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Wizard Arrow took a beating there and it's actually still having <laughs> so much stamina. Yeah, okay, so. Wow, it's really performing unexpected. Okay, alright, so let's now let's try this, right? Hell's Chain against the others. So just now it was up against Hell's Side. I do want to see how it performs against the Wizard Arrow. So we have the Hell's Chain against Wizard Arrow. Let's see if something interesting happens now. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Okay, very interesting performance. Okay, so the last, uh, so the last thing that I do want to test, right, is a, a situation where I can kind of fire them at my full strength, because the firing two launchers, honestly, I can't do it at my full strength. So, alright, so first up, alright, let's do Hell Scythe and Hell's Chain. Let's see if, uh, higher power. Levels if it makes a difference between two of them. Shoot! Okay, it definitely makes a difference. <laughs> Being tapered, the stamina is definitely not there, and there was quite a few good hits, as in uh, quite a few good launchers that, uh, if in the correct position, uh, we will see an extreme finish from the Hell's Chain. All right, let's do this one more time. Right, A three, two, one, go. One Hell's Chain. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. What in the? Flying F. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Um. I will have to. <laughs> I will have to review the footage, slow it down, just to see what the heck happened. I. What? I did not see what happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, in closing, what do I think of this BX21? Um, this two uh, definitely did not, as in this two definitely performed um, way different than expected. They actually did pretty well against um, the old triple deck set, the BX08. However, Hell's Chain, right? Here's the thing about the Hell's Chain that bothers me a little. 
firstly is this amount of gap here I mean most of these have but because like even if you see like there's a big gap right there tends to be quite a distance and it, it, the other base seems to be quite well protected right, even in the instances like this right, right it's under the blade right so you can see like the ratchet is kind of well protected <gasps> I already see damage on my freaking <laughs> ratchet no no my 560 <laughs> I wanted more 560. No, it's been damaged. No. Okay, so for this health change, I do have like high hopes for this. So I will be doing definitely be doing more testing on this, right? So um, on my live stream, yes, I will be doing combo testing. I'll be trying out different combos to see how I can make this work because I believe that I do have faith in this thing. <laughs> All right. So how am I going to make this work? Like, stay tuned to my. To my live stream right so once again so that's it for today's um unboxing video all right um will be for the, that's it for today's health chain unboxing video all right so hope to see you on the next one and if this video has helped you uh, in a decision on buying a bx21 hell's chain deck set and getting this three beautiful uh, base right do leave a like I right, do leave a like as it will greatly help me out on my channel uh, leave a comment and right, tell me what you think about Hell's Chain and also do stay tuned to my channel by subscribing and so that you know that when I go live you guys can drop by and also suggest combos to, for me to test with alright so I'll see you guys on the next one thank you so much for being here Matane bye bye huga chaga huga huga